This is on. There we go. Big Sphinx. Oh, the mods are starting to roll in. Okay, what are we calling this? It's Idea. You know, I D A E. Idea. Yeah, you got the Nasoni. Nice. That's, he uh, that's, oh, that's cool. That's Misogata Unicolor. Misogata? Misogata. Misogata. Unicolor. Unicolor. That sounds like a mafia moth. Oh, is this the uh, Paw Paw Sphinx? Yeah, uh, is that what it's called? Oh, yeah. I don't have, I don't have that. Oh, Parasichlorus. Parasichlorus. Hey, Keys Mods fans. I'm up here in the mountains of North Carolina. This is Gibson's Bottoms. And I have my, my light here set up. Our Lepidoptera Society is here. We've got a bunch of guys doing moth collecting down this one valley. And we're gonna see what moths will come to the sheets. Uh, here at Gibson Bottom, North Carolina, end of June or middle of June. Unfortunately, there's a full moon. So moth collecting for moth collectors, that's not a good thing, but we're gonna throw our lights out. I've got, let me show you guys what I have real quick. Just before we get rolling, I'm about to set the generator up. I've got a 175 watt mercury vapor light here. I've got it on a tripod, sheet wrapped around it. I've got a bed sheet laying across the ground here. That is gonna reflect the light from the, from the ground up. And hopefully the moths will come and land on the sheet. And then here, I've got something that looks very, very um unprofessional because somehow or another i lost my little screw that goes on the top of my tripod which mounts my socket of my mercury vapor light bulb and so i've got to zip tie it to the handle of my Ugh. all right so now i've got a black light bulb so guys i'm gonna fire up my generator right now it's nine o'clock the sun's still out uh it's starting to go down but we're up in the mountains, so it takes a little longer for things to get dark. Grandpa and Sophie are laying there. Lorenzo's, there's my wife. Say hi, honey. Lorenzo's over there with a the net, chasing fireflies. Guys, let's fire up the generator and let's get rolling. All right. It is time. Make sure that the generator is on. Okay, make sure that is on. We have a choke here somewhere. Where's our choke? Our choke is, oh, right there. Okay, here we go. This is on. There we go. Well. Let's get this party started, y'all. I'm gonna plug in. And. The mercury vapors are fired up. You guys look super comfy there. Oh yeah, we're lap of luxury. Lap of luxury. Lap of luxury. Is that is that a lap? Ladybug. Ladybug. That's not a ladybug. What was that? You know what I mean. Lightning bug. Fireflies. Fireflies. You can see them, guys. Look. Fireflies. Where are they? Will they show up in my video? Oh, wow. How beautiful. Look at all the flies. What's that? All the fireflies. Fireflies? Oh, there's one right here. Oh, I caught it. They're so beautiful. You see them, babe. I don't think my phone's picking the fireflies up. Yeah, yeah it is. You see them? Yeah. Well, our sun is there now, but look more to the left. There. You see them, Papa? Well, sweetheart, what do you think? Ready to collect some moths? Yes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually curious to see what comes. Are you? 
Yeah, I, I love the fireflies. I want to take a video. Yeah, Hopefully, like when it gets darker. Well, when it gets darker, when it gets super dark, they stop firing up. What? Like right, right now is right now is the prime time for fireflies. Mm, really? So yeah, right now is prime time. No, Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Five. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. I have four, five. You have five. So if you look. Oh yeah, look at that. That's prime time right here. See yeah, watch. Wait, why don't they fly when it's dark? They, if they do it like as the sun is going down and as the sun is coming up. Like the moon, right? Sophie, what are you doing here, girl? Just relaxing. Relaxing. I'm gonna start eating snacks soon. She's yeah. gonna start eating snacks. Grandpa? I'm just chilling, straightening out my back. Straightening out back. Yeah. They went whitewater rafting today. Might, was... I might catch a few Z's before fall the asleep? start showing up. So, yeah. Got it. Okay. Well. Looking up at the stars. There we go. The Is there stars here? Like well, there should be, but we have a full moon tonight. Full moon, which doesn't make that doesn't help. Uh, or moth collecting. What do you have there? We have a bunch of fireflies. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see them. Let's see them light up. Get away from the light. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's hold it in the in the shadow. There you go. All right. Hold on. They should light up. There oh, we go. One. Bingo. Hi, Firefly. What? You didn't know that? This one? is my first time ever seeing them. You've never seen one up close? Okay. Well, no, we don't... Guys, yes, you have. No, we don't have fireflies in South Florida, guys. These are cool. cool. Probably Central. There we go. This is what we know of as bioluminescence. We could see it at night. And Firefly it has two chambers with two different chemicals in its abdomen. And when they want to fire up, they squeeze with a sphincter, special sphincter, and squeeze the chemicals together. And once they mix, it's just like a glow stick. And they go beep beep, and they fire up. Blue. Well, I don't know the. I don't know how. I don't know how frequently. Look, there's one right there. That's a moth. That's the first moth. All right, we have no moths yet. He's eating. Oh no! Go away, bat! There he is! Where? Where? He you see him? It. I'm gonna catch it with my net. Okay, guys, we don't have mods yet, but we do have a bat flying around. Right there, right there. there he is. Can I catch him? If you can catch him, I'll give you $5. <laughs> don't hit my light bulb. Around. Don't hit my light bulbs or my wife I'm, or my daughter. Why would I hit anybody, Dad? Just making sure. I'm just waiting for him to make the wrong move and come down here. <laughs> I actually did catch a bat in a butterfly net once. By accident? No, I'm very much on purpose. He was in Wisconsin. I had my lights out over, like, right next to this lake. And the bat was going around eating my moths as they were coming in. I'm like, I had enough of this. He was about your age, too. Yeah, I was about, I was about Lorenzo's age. He's got to be in the grass oh, somewhere. Is. We there have is. our first moth. There he is. Look, right there, there. Right there. Well, he's no Luna moth. No. <laughs> he's more my size. There you go. Uh, he's very active. Settle down, yeah. Settle down, buddy. You use more of the... Uh, for my collection. Oh. For my collections too, because, oh, shoot. Here, there's one right here. <laughs> Ready? Jumping with joy? Yeah, I, I think there's that's kind of what it is. Yeah. You want them live or dead? Oh, mayflies. Oh, I'll drop them in there. You got it. Yeah. There, there's more mayflies over here, too. Oh, you can have all the mayflies you want. No, I use them for my Help yourself. Because they're so unique, but they also break very quickly. They do. They do. Pretty soon the students say, oh, there's no tails on this one. I know. Let's see if I can get a. Close up of a mayfly here. There's another one here. Oh, look at that beetle. Yeah. Like oh, I want that beetle. <laughs> yeah. I Bingo. Caddisflies are like beetles. They just found them. Yeah, they're not, they're oh, we know somebody the... who knows a lot about caddisflies. Yeah, you know, not, not on our <laughs> net. Let's put it that way. Dr. Morris. John Morris. He knows caddisflies. Caddisflies. He is, he is Mr. Caddisfly. Seriously. Oh, yeah. He's emeritus at Clemson. Wow. Ah. Uh, There's a moth. 
has quite literally written the book on caddis flies. Okay, like, yeah. that's the great thing about this group is somebody probably did write a book on something. He has, he um, wrote, wrote the book on it. You go into his house and he's got one room in the house that's just a library of aquatic insects. Really? Yep, just a library. He's got every major publication on caddis flies going back in history. Okay. So that he can check any description he needs to. So he, he is the he is the caddis fly he authority. Oh, look at that. Sphinx moth. I just the Oh, Sphinx just came in. He came right over your ear. I don't know where he went. This is great. All right, we have our first actual large respectable respectable moth here. Now, let's see. He landed right. All right, it looks like a catalpa. If I'm, am I correct on that? No, that's a sphinx. Catalpa sphinx? I don't know which one. Oh, I, when you said catalpa, catalpa's in a river day. But. Here, you want to come on this side? And there is, there are catalpa trees right along the river. Yeah, I'll wait for Which one is this one? Uh, do you need, do you have something I, to put it in? I don't, this doesn't oh, look familiar like to me. Let's see. Is it a serotomia? Oh. oh, no. Uh -oh. Here. Here Alex needs that, one that could be serotomia catalpa. I think it's catalpa, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, is that, it's is that an extension cord issue? It might be. Oh, boy. All right, there, there's a moth. I saw something floating around. Did it land? There he is. Uh -huh. it, it, it looks like it might be a notodonid of some sort. Yeah. Not with your hands. No, I caught it with my hands. Oh, Thanks. big sphinx. I just got the net. Oh, the moths are starting to roll in. Two catalpa sphinx. Well, we need them. Yep, there's catalpa number one. Is that it? Go for it. Oh, I just wanted to oh. uh, go for it. Uh, oh. Catalpa number two. Ouch. That's the other thing. Oh, they really have sharp spurs. They've got a lot of, a lot of. <laughs> Scales that come off there too, don't they? Oh yeah. There's one over here, too, babe. A little bit smaller. Oh, yeah, I need that. Well, what is that? That's one? a beetle. Oh, I need that one too. Fast enough. Fast enough. We're in there. Hey. It's a notodontid. <laughs> notodontid. I don't know. I think so. I'm not sure. If Mr. Nans doesn't know. Well, I don't know the stuff <laughs> off the top of my head. You know. That's a. Pr my, let's see. My memory's not that great. Let's see if I can get focus. That's it's a nice little notodontid. Female. So you're ready? You want to go for a walk? Yeah. Catalpi. It's catalpi. Uh, well, or maybe not. Let's see. We've had several, several catalpi. So that, that I don't think that one is. He's gonna be something else. He's got. Dolba? That, no, that's. Looks like has white spots. All he's got time. white spots. Yeah. Let's see who he is. What's that right there? That is a notodonid of some sort. No, that's a uh, that's Desicura tephra. Tephra. Uh, yeah, Desicura tephra. Oh, that one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Would you no, call that? No, that's no, that's uh, that's obliqua. Obliqua? Yes, that's. Oh, let like me the see. Okay. Desicura obliqua. This is Dolba? Yeah. Oh, is this the uh, pawpaw sphinx? Yeah, uh, is that what it's called? Oh yeah, I don't have I don't have that. <laughs> I do now. Pawpaw sphinx. Yes. You use your iPhone, huh? Well, I use it at home, but when I'm out of the sheet, I, I try to use the big rig still. Well, I've got my other camera too, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna double dip. So that's good to get a couple good video images. It is a lifer. Nice. It is a lifer. All right, here is the pawpaw sphinx. Oh, Parasichloris. <laughs> Okay, sweetheart. That's uh, that's oh, that's cool. That's Missagata Unicolor. 
Misogata. 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 Unicolor. Unicolor. That sounds like a mafia moth. Oh, here's the, the, the parasas on this side under the light again. Okay. Oh, the green one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's green. Look at him. Green lima coated. Ah, didn't shoot. Cool. The two him. species that look alike. Okay, what are we calling this? It's Idea. You know, I D A E. Idea. Yeah, you got the Nasoni. Nice. Okay, so he's got like a scalloped hind wing, huh? Yeah, it's a, it's a really angle, weird angle. Neat. Hindwing. We have a couple of these in the Keys that are yeah, pretty. Yeah, you have great sterines in the in South yeah. Florida. We've got one called Idea perverta penis. Yeah. Which I don't know why on earth whoever named that did the way they did. Must have but. weird legs. <laughs> There's the That's other. What is. Oh, is that him? Penis is. Do you have a headcoder right here? Yeah, yeah. What? Kevin. He's right there. Oh, Penis's uh -huh. wings. He's right no, there. No, Got it. Oh. Tail. Here, look, go ahead and take Penis's him. Tail. Penis's tail. Penis's tail. Okay. Did you get this little no, go ahead, man. Do your thing. Right. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Now he's got. Yeah, that's Nadada. This is Nadada, though. No, no, no. That's 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 your. Um, I might unicolor. take him. That's your. Uh, oh man, I've just lost it. Lost him. Lost his name. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. You're doing a lot better that's than I am on them. Yeah, that's a great photo.